All right, let's talk about sex. You see, according to Darwinian evolution, sex should never have happened. You see, most single-celled organisms produce, uh, reproduce asexually, right? The cells divide and the DNA is, is basically duplicated and it, the, the cells separate and you have a new creature created. And if everything is about natural selection uh, based on random mutation, then whenever I get an advan advantageous mutation, uh, the best way to pass that along to the next generation would be 100%, right? Asexually. Let's just keep dividing cells and keep passing it along. Now when I bring sex into the picture, we've got a problem. It's very inefficient. It absolutely makes no sense. Um, there is no Darwinian explanation for sex. And I'm not just making this up. Let me give you a great quote here from Carl Zimmer in his book, Evolution, The Triumph of an Idea. Quote, sex is not only unnecessary, but it ought to be a recipe for evolutionary disaster. For one thing, it's an, it's inefficient, uh, it's an inefficient way to reproduce. And sex carries other costs as well. By all rights, any group of animals that evolve sexual reproduction should be promptly outcompeted by non-sexual ones. And yet sex reigns. Why is sex a success despite all of its disadvantages, end quote? See, the problem with sex is all sorts of problems. There's another major issue is why do we even have males? If uh, you were going to create some kind of a reproductive system outside of asexual, then it should all be females. Why? Because if I have a selective advantage that's passed along, why would I dilute that genetically by having a male come in the picture that's going to take up 50% of the genetic code? Do you see what I'm saying there? If I have a selective advantage and I dilute that with a sexual partner, then I have huge problems on an evolutionary scale. And ultimately, any creature that's develop, developing sexual reproduction, especially sexual reproduction between a male and a female, it's very inefficient. It doesn't pass along the new uh, uh, higher traits as eff effectively, as efficiently, and the other creatures would outperform, would outcompete, and those creatures that are evolving would go away. Well, it's interesting, if you want to see the ultimate answer to this very tough problem for Darwinian evolution. The ultimate answer came out a few years ago in a summary, it was a Caltech NASA study on the origin of sex, and they came up with the cosmic solution. And here it is, the cosmic solution to an ancient mystery. Quote, comet or asteroid impacts could have stressed asexual organisms enough to send them down the path of sexual reproduction after forcing a flurry of genetic mutations. Heavy doses of radiation might have also done the trick, end quote. You can check that out, by the way, at space.com. Here's what they're saying. Stress from asteroids or stress from, uh, from radiation ultimately caused these asexually reproducing organisms to cling to each other. They needed comfort. They needed to, to, to have a courtship that somehow evolved so that males and females would somehow get together to deal with these asteroid impacts and all this environmental stress. That's what they're saying here, is that sexual reproduction between males and females is an evolutionary response to environmental stress. Yeah, we needed to be cozy with one another to deal with asteroids and radiation. Now check that one out.